Welcome back friends. In this particular video, we'll be talking about the treatment of streptococcal infections. So we'll be talking about treatment. This is going to be a very short video because the treatment is again when we are talking about the treatment of any uh, bacterial infection. The first thing that comes into our mind uh, is antibiotics. Simply antibiotics. Now what kind of antibiotics we can use in this case? Uh, usually the streptococcus species like streptococcus pyogenes and all these things they are not uh, still uh, resistant uh, to uh, penicillin. So we can use penicillin G. We can use penicillin G as an antibiotic. Now there are some people which are uh, who are allergic allergic to penicillin G. For those we can use macrolides uh, such, as, such as azithromycin or clarithromycin. So we can use azithromycin as well as we can use clarithromycin as uh, the antibiotic treatment. In those cases we can use this, this two different Macrolides. Nowadays, uh, doctors prefer this uh, use of penicillin G uh, along with clindamycin because it is going to show us some kind of synergistic effect. So usually, nowadays they are using this penicillin G uh, and they are tagging it with clindamycin. Clindamycin, and then they use because these two things show some uh, some synergic effect. Synergic effect means when you use both of them, penicillin G as well as clindamycin together, it is going to provide us some, uh, some very strong positive effect altogether. Right? And usually we can uh, treat uh, this, this uh, streptococcus pyogenes infections using using this 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 combinations of combination of penicillin and clindamycin most of the cases okay and obviously uh, penicillin g can be used for the necrotic or necrotic streptococcus infections too okay so this is but before treating or before prescribing any kind of antibiotics for treating of the streptococcal infection we must check for the proper identification of the bacteria from uh, the wound site right and then do the rest of the things and the technique we can use is rapid latex antigen kit remember and in this case uh, after knowing all these things uh, prevention is also most important part because prevention is always better than treatment and cure so prevention or preventive measure must be taken preventive preventive measure must be taken so hand washing and obviously uh, during uh, before the eating of food and all these things you should uh, be hygienic about your life otherwise this kind of infections like streptococcal and staphylococcus inf infections are mostly they are mostly uh, transferred by food so you be careful about food you uh, regularly hand washing is required so washing is a kind and you need to maintain all these things so that's a little bit about the treatment and i hope that's helpful Thank you.